Burns. Go ahead and fire away with questions when you got them. Chase, just uh, your thoughts on your performance tonight? 12 strikeouts, career high. Uh, pretty good performance, you know, just going out there and putting my team in the best chance to win. What did Frank uh, Anderson say when he came out to talk to you? It seemed like a pretty bang bang meeting. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Just go out there and throw, throw strikes, keep doing what you're doing, and stay calm and breathe. They worked you a little bit there in the third, but you were able to come back and cruise the rest of the game. What was the difference there in that sequence? Yeah, you know, just uh, finding my mechanics again, uh, you know, calming down, breathing, you know, uh, talking to some of the other pitchers like Doe and Beam, just asking them, you know, where they look at out there, uh, what am I doing wrong, and going back out there and fixing it. Looked like the slider was, was kind of working for you tonight. What did you like about that pitch? And I mean, did it, did it feel better tonight than maybe some other outings? Uh, you know, it's always one of my good pitches that I have. And tonight, you know, I'm just throwing it how I throw really hard with conviction and hoping it does the thing. See from Seth Alverson tonight. What did you say? Seth Alverson, what thoughts on his outing? Yeah, you know, he's a big competitor. You know, I always have a lot of confidence when he comes in the game behind me. So he's a great guy. It's been like having him fully healthy this season as compared to last season. Of course, he had the injury. Uh, it's exciting to go out there and watch him show. You know, like I said, you know, have a lot of confidence and everybody in the bullpen is coming out, especially him. Does it give you confidence to know that to have a guy like Seth just come in right behind you? So even if you do get in trouble, you know, come in there and get you out of a jam. Yeah, like I said, you know, our bullpen's really good. So having a guy like him, he's older and knows what he's doing. So. Speaking of Doe Lander and Bean, Anderson or E Lander talked about the competition you'll have. Can you kind of build on that and what that's like? Yeah, you know, we call ourselves the big three. You know, it's kind of a funny thing, but going out there and, you know, I don't know, Doe had a lot of strikeouts. You know, I'm always trying to do what he does and replicate it. So just us three, we're, we've come closer together and we're always competing. In terms of your endurance, uh, looking back this time last year versus now, is there a difference you feel like? Uh, definitely. You know, with Coach Q coming back, you know, him working with me, it's definitely helped a lot. The transition going to Saturday means you get to sit and watch, you know, Doe go to work uh, the, the whole night before. Have you kind of already kind of been reaping some of those benefits so far? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I thought I did a pretty good job as a freshman Friday nights, but to be able to sit back and learn and also go off of what Doe's doing and talking about him and talking about, you know, what batters are doing or what I need to look for. So it's really helped a lot. Double digit strikeouts for him last night for you tonight. What, what's, what are you guys going to say to Beam for tomorrow? <laughs> uh, we already told him you better do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so. Any more questions, Chase? Awesome. Thank you, Chase. Thanks, Chase.